Another big story we are covering for you this afternoon. Information available to TV3 News indicate that some explosive um, objects have been found near the residence of the Deputy Ashanti Regional Minister Andy Osei Okra earlier this morning. Personnel from the National Security swiftly moved to the scene to defuse the, res uh, the, the device uh, which was at the residence which some persons suspected to be uh, a bomb. TV3's Northern Sector Bureau Chief Kofi Edudonfe reports that one of the bombs was found at the entrance of the deputy minister's official bungalow. Another was discovered near the house, which is close to the National Security Data Center, a national security installation in Kumasi. According to uh, Kofi Edudonfe, personnel from the National Anti-Bomb Squad swiftly moved to the uh, place where they found the two objects to carry it away from the area. The security personnel um, preferred not to call the objects bombs, but described them as powerful explosives. And um, would want to go onto the phone lines now and uh, speak to Kofi to give us an update of really whether this has caused some kind of fear and panic in the area and what residents are making of this. Kofi, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, Martin. Uh, w what is the situation now as we speak? We uh, know that the device has been carried away, but could they confirm that it was a bomb? Well, it's quite difficult to ascertain as it stands now, because as I speak to you now, uh, the Regional Security Council is in a crucial meeting over this particular incident. So we don't have confirmation yet as to what exactly these explosives uh, were. But I can report uh, that for residents, those living within this particular vicinity, they are a bit calm. Uh, this is actually uh, the residential, uh, the Dinami residential area, a bungalow where most government appointees and um, officials. And, and uh, according to a resident who spoke to me, um, there was not much of a scare because according to her, uh, she uh, observed somebody passing by dropping these explosives ostensibly um, to hide them and not uh, to cause any scare. That is uh, what this source uh, told me. But right. officially, uh, we have not been informed exactly uh, why these um, explosives might have been dropped at these areas. Right, but Kofi, um, was the deputy minister or any of his family members in the residence at the time the bomb squad got there? Okay, let me tell you what I have. Um, these explosives were deposited at this residential area. This is about uh, three minutes uh, walk from the Golden Chile Kumasi City, um, just close to the Rain Street, uh, Rain Tree Street. And according to uh, sources, one was found at the entrance of the residency of the uh, Deputy Regional Minister and the Okra. And the other was picked close to the Regional Security Data Center. And this is a new facility um, with camera installations to monitor security activities in, in, the, in the metropolis. Mm. Now, at the time of um, the, the coordinating of, of the place, um, some family members of the deputy minister were at home. And as it stands now, we understand that he's been evacuated uh, from uh, um, the, 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 the residency. But the, at the center, um, as I speak to you now, they are working. Uh, yesterday, that last night, the security forces called on of the place but now there is free flow of traffic and people are going about uh, their normal activities. But if you speak to residents, people are a bit worried about this development because there are so many um, assertions to why this would happen at this particular time, why someone would want to right. um, deposit a bomb or an, an explosive at this particular area. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Kofi, we'll come back to you in subsequent bulletins for an update. Kofi Edudonfe is TV3's Northern Sector Bureau Chief with that update. So